Urban Wild, today is Friday, February 10th, 2023, and we're just in the wrap-up. Before it was a little bit raw and unplugged the way I did it, showing from leaving the sanctuary to coming to the park and laying out the food the way it goes. Normally I only turn on the camera once I've set things up, or not while I'm doing the work. Here's a cat that likes my toes and likes my ankles but doesn't like to be pet. Here's Dingo. In the final cleanup, final wrap up, I redistributed the food, put out the piles. Most of the cats have eaten and gone on their way. The proof is in the leftovers, meaning the ones that ate here and left this behind. This food here, as you can see. This cat sees it, isn't interested. This food here. Throughout the day, we come back and check, and all the food gets eaten by a certain point. Here's the one we call a baby mama, who is a second generation to Madame Chi and the mother to many of the kittens that we focus on. There's a cleaned up food spot, so we know what they have been eating. This one still likes my toes, I'm guessing that they generate some kind of warmth. There's this one here. And of course the food piles, the leftovers that are all over the place that baby mama doesn't want to eat. There's food right here that it's ignoring food over here in the crevices, food right behind this cat, food over here. So the cats are not being deprived or starved. You know where these spots are because if you look back at the previous videos you'll see every single one of those spots is and was occupied normally when they're hungry. They know exactly where to go or to anticipate the food. They finish this dish which is good so I clean it up into my bucket of tricks. That's one of the kittens. This is one of the youngest of Madame Chi's latest litters. How she keeps having kittens, I'm not sure, unless it's not her. But this is consistent with the ones that look like her kittens. They might be her kittens' kittens by now. So I gather up my tools slowly but surely. Dingo, of course, here for attention. This cat that loves my attention, that comes and goes. So friendly, look at how he jumps up to greet me. No claws, I'm not sure if he's been declawed or not, he or she. Extremely friendly. One of my favorite cats here. I love them all, but just the way it greets me, it's unique. And it seems to have some unfinished business, some scores to settle. Okay, yes, I see you. That's Stumpy, who always goes for my ankles. Tiny little kitten here, eating from the container. And we have the food that I redistributed on the wall over there at the corner. Yes, I keep talking about the wall. Most of the food I put on the wall, whether it's this wall, that wall, or the other wall. I refilled the bucket, the water container with clean water. This kitten that I'm not too familiar with. I haven't seen it before, it doesn't look like it has a infection in one eye it seems. I'm not sure and I'm definitely not an expert. Should be by now, but you see it's an unusual cat that doesn't usually come. It's getting to eat, which we're happy about. There's still some unfinished food there. Of course FOMO is the first one to go for it. So I'm happy to see new kittens all the time, new cats. When we make the claims that we feed 50 plus, it's not to reach a number. Or to say statistics for the point of accomplishing something, just the reality, and it's for my own keeping track of how much food to bring, my own keeping track of the experience and the lives of these cats, as I try to document them for those who ask specific questions who support specific cats, and for the sake of the veterinary services that we have to call sometimes. Here's an unaccosted food pile. The cats all know that it's here but they're obviously not starving enough or hungry enough to want to come here. Just to show what kind of a abandoned zone we are in here. That is actually not a garbage dump, that is someone's private space. They're constantly doing cleanups. But this is kind of a garbage dump zone. There's Dingo. Some growth thanks to the rain. You know, people asking how come nothing grows there. Well, it is sand. Not a lot of healthy soil here, 
but we have rehabilitated the space a little bit by cleaning out a lot of the garbage that was here, a lot of the toxic and also toxicity, and also we've shown people to stop bringing garbage here, at least in this space. The city cleaners also give more attention to this place now. I try to collect as much as I can when we off camera. And we're keeping the zone clean. So here, they finished almost everything. There's some scraps, which means they've eaten, but they're not starving. There's some leftover food on the wall here. If you followed early, you saw me laying the food here. Of course, there's still some food here that's uneaten. Food here that's uneaten. A little bit of leftovers here. A lot up here. Well, a lot is a relative term, but I'm saying for these street cats, this is food just showing that they wouldn't leave these amount of leftovers if they were starving. This is a cat with one eye that's usually last in the pecking order. There's another deposit over there. I see you, Stumpy. I see you, Limpy. I mean, why don't you come over here and eat some food, buddy, if you're hungry? Come over here. Don't be afraid. It's okay, there's enough for all of you. I'm gonna back off to let the cats do their cat energy thing. Still have that kitten chowing down on what's left in that container, the last container that I have out that I need to clean up. I sat because I don't go while they're still eating from the containers that I need to take, they don't leave things behind. So now, normally, I would collect the last few dishes, assuming the dingo doesn't start eating from it. He is, so I'm going to let him. There's this dish over here, which I'll put in my bucket. Wait for dingo to finish eating from that. Assuming no other cat comes, I redistribute the food. And I go on my merry way. Now I have to go to take care of the sanctuary. There's a whole other project that we opened up due to the ongoing storms and the ferocity of the winter. Relative ferocity of the winter. We're talking about relative for the cats that... Don't know where to go. These aren't winter cats. I mean, these aren't Arctic cats. These aren't snow cats. These are cats that are in a relative warmer zone in the southern Mediterranean here. But yeah, it gets cold. They still need a place to go. And for them, it's still winter. That's why we opened up the shelter. And we're demonstrating in our end hunger now for people and for animals that for as little as two shekels, which is less than a dollar, probably around 60 cents US today, 50 cents to a euro. Yeah, for that amount of money, you can sponsor, you can feed a hungry kitten or a person actually. Because by extension, when we get to a certain scale of doing this, the reason why I mentioned 50 cats is because at that point, it becomes a self-sufficient entity to a certain level. All these are explained and described in the projects that we're doing and the posts that we share. And all this information is available. I'm not trying to sell anything now. Just demonstrating how simple it is to make a difference. Or it doesn't have to cost you anything. It doesn't have to hurt. I'm not happy now. I'm going to sign off. Wishing everyone a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you in the gap.